हेलो एवरीवन स्वागत है आपका यूनिवर्सिटी एकेडमी यूट्यूब चैनल में सो so, आज के लेक्चर में हम लोग डिस्कस करेंगे फिल्टर्स टॉपिक के बारे में एंड अगर आपको फिल्टर टॉपिक के हैंड रिटर्न नोट्स चाहिए सो so आपको वीडियो के डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में लिंक गिवन है आप वहां से जाके डाउनलोड कर सकते हैं एंड अगर आपको वीडियो अच्छा लगे तो प्लीज़ वीडियो को लाइक एंड शेयर ज़रूर करें नाउ लेट एस सी वट इज़ फिल्टर सो फिल्टर्स एज अ नेम सजेस्ट दे फिल्टर द फ्रिक्वेंसी कॉम्पोनेंट इट मीन्स दे विल पास certain frequency components and they will reject some other frequency components okay so filter is of two type first is active filter and second one is passive filter so depending on the components present in the filter they are of two type so active filter it consists of active elements like opam transistor field effect transistor with सम एलिमेंट्स लाइक पैसिव एलिमेंट्स भी होते हैं बट दे कंसिस्ट ऑफ एक्टिव एलिमेंट्स ओ पैम ट्रांजिस्टर एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस दे प्रोवाइड द गेन टू द सिग्नल ओके वेयर एज इन केस ऑफ पैसिव फिल्टर इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ ओनली पैसिव एलिमेंट्स लाइक रेसिस्टर एंड कैपेसिटर ओके एंड दे डू नॉट प्रोवाइड एनी काइंड ऑफ गेन टू द सिग्नल ओके सो पैसिव फिल्टर इट इज़ मेड अप ऑफ सीरीज एंड द पैरल सेक्शन ऑफ इंडक्टर कैपेसिटर एंड रेजिस्टर एंड इन दिस वी कैन नॉट इंक्रीज द गेन ऑफ द सिग्नल सो दिस इज अ मेन डिफरेंस दैट यूजिंग द एक्टिव फिल्टर वी कैन इंक्रीज द गेन बिकॉज इन द गेन वी विल हैव आर ऑफ एफ एंड आर वन सो इनकी वैल्यू को वेरी करके वी कैन एडजस्ट द गेन अकॉर्डिंगली वेर एज इन द पैसिव फिल्टर सच प्रोविजन इज नॉट देयर नाउ लेट एस सी द टाइप ऑफ द फिल्टर सो पैसिव फिल्टर इट इज ऑफ फाइव टाइप फर्स्ट वन इज लो पास फिल्टर सो एज अ नेम इंडिकेट लो पास फिल्टर सो इट विल पास लो फ्रिक्वेंसी कॉम्पोनेंट्स सो जो हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी कॉम्पोनेंट्स हैं उनको ये ब्लॉक करता है ओके सो यही हमने डेफिनेशन में देखा कि वो कुछ फ्रिक्वेंसी कॉम्पोनेंट्स को तो अलाउ करेगा एंड जो रिमेनिंग फ्रिक्वेंसी कॉम्पोनेंट्स है वो उनको ब्लॉक करेगा वेयर एज इन हाई पास फिल्टर इट विल पास हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी सिग्नल्स एंड लो फ्रिक्वेंसी सिग्नल्स को वो ब्लॉक एंड रिजेक्ट कर देगा सिमिलरली वी हैव बैंड पास फिल्टर सो इन दिस फिल्टर इट विल पास अ पर्टिकुलर बैंड ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसी ओके तो ये लो फिल्ट फ्रिक्वेंसी सिग्नल्स एंड हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी सिग्नल्स दोनों को ब्लॉक करता है एक पर्टिकुलर जो बैंड की फ्रिक्वेंसीज होंगी उनको ही ये अलाउ करेगा एंड इन द बैंड स्टॉप फिल्टर इट विल स्टॉप अ बैंड ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसीज एंड ये लो फ्रिक्वेंसीज एंड हाई फ्रिक्वेंसीज दोनों सिग्नल्स को पास करता है बट इट विल ब्लॉक दिस फ्रिक्वेंसी सो दिस इज नोन एज बैंड स्टॉप फिल्टर एंड इन केस ऑफ ऑल पास फिल्टर इट विल पास ऑल द फ्रिक्वेंसी कॉम्पोनेंट सो इसे हम यूज करते हैं टू प्रोवाइड द फेस शिफ्ट इन द आउटपुट ओके सो दीज आर फाइव टाइप्स ऑफ पैसिव फिल्टर नाउ लेट एस सी वन बाय वन सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी लो पास फिल्टर सो लो पास फिल्टर एज द नेम सजेस्ट इट अलाउज ओनली लो फ्रिक्वेंसी कॉम्पोनेंट ओके सो ये सिर्फ लो फ्रिक्वेंसी जो सिग्नल्स हैं उनको पास करेगा दैट मीन्स इट विल रिजेक्ट और ब्लॉक ऑल दी अदर हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी कॉम्पोनेंट सो लेट एस सी द सर्किट डायग्राम ऑफ द लो पास फिल्टर सो एज इट इज पैसिव फिल्टर इट विल कंसिस्ट ऑफ ओनली रजिस्टर एंड कैपेसिटर सो इन केस ऑफ लो पास फिल्टर वी हैव अ सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ रजिस्टर एंड कैपेसिटर सो इफ वी आर टेकिंग द आउटपुट अक्रॉस द कैपेसिटर देन दैट इंडिकेट दैट इट इज अ लो पास फिल्टर ओके so this is a circuit diagram and it consists of two passive element first is resistor and capacitor which are connected in series okay so they are connected in series and input voltage is applied across the entire combination and the output is considered as the voltage across the capacitor okay so agar hum capacitor ke through output lenge then it will be low pass filter lekin agar hum resistance ke across output consider karenge then it will be high pass filter so sirf itna hi difference hai low pass filter and high pass filter ke circuit mein Okay, now let us see the transfer function of low pass filter. So let me draw the circuit here again. So we, here we are having a resistor and a capacitor, and we are taking the output across the capacitor. So this is the circuit of a low pass filter. Okay, so this is resistance R, this is capacitor. So it will be one by C into S, and input this is V I of S. and this is output that is v not of s so now we have to find the output voltage which is a voltage across this capacitor so we can use a voltage division rule okay so by voltage division rule so 
V naught of S it will be equal to input voltage is input is V I of S and we are calculating output across capacitor so this is 1 by C into S divided by sum of both the impedances that is R plus 1 by C into S okay so we know that the transfer function okay so transfer function it is denoted by H of S and it is Laplace transform of output by Laplace transform of input so it will be equal to V naught of S by V I of S this will be equal to 1 upon so if we simplify we are getting 1 upon 1 plus S into C R okay so we can simplify this expression then we will be getting the transfer function of the low pass filter as 1 upon 1 plus S into C R so we know that as it is RC circuit so RC circuit के लिए जो time constant है it is given by R into C so this can also be written as 1 upon 1 plus tau into S okay because this C into R is nothing but the time constant of the low pass filter so this will be equal to 1 upon 1 plus tau into S now if we substitute s is equal to j omega then we are obtaining so let us put s is equal to j omega then we are getting the value of h of j omega or simply we can write, write h of omega then it will be equal to 1 upon 1 plus j omega into cr so now we can find the magnitude of this h of omega now let us find out the magnitude of the transfer function so magnitude of the transfer function is so we have to calculate mod of h of j omega so this will be equal to numerator is 1 so it will remain as it is and then we have complex term so this is given by square root of real part square that is 1 square plus imaginary part square so imaginary term is omega into cr so this will be equal to omega cr whole square okay so this is the magnitude of the transfer function so now let us see the characteristics of low pass filter so we have calculated magnitude of the transfer function that is we have calculated mod of h of j omega we have obtained as 1 upon square root of 1 plus omega c r whole square okay so now we will put omega as 0 infinity okay so we will put different values of omega omega is frequency okay and that is angular frequency so if we substitute omega as 0 then we are getting mod of h of j omega so this will be equal to 1 upon square root of 1 so which is simply 0 it means at 0 frequency magnitude of the transfer function it is 1 so let us see first ideal characteristic so here we have that frequency 0 hai, that is omega value is 0 and here we are getting the magnitude or the gain of the transfer function as 1 okay similarly we will substitute omega is equal to 1 by cr so if we substitute omega as 1 by r into c which is equal to 1 by tau then we are getting the mod of h of j omega so if we substitute omega as 1 by r into c so this will get cancelled out so we are getting 1 by root 2 so 1 by root 2 is 0.707 it means at 1 by rc value the magnitude of the transfer function is 0.707 so in the practical or in the actual characteristic it will go like this okay so here we have f of c hai, that is cut off frequency the magnitude of the trans low pass filter is 0.707 now we will put omega as infinity so at omega is equal to infinity we are getting the mod of h of j omega so if we substitute omega infinity it will be equal to 1 by infinity so this is 0 so it means as omega is tending to from 0 to infinity because we have varied omega from 0 to infinity so magnitude of the transfer function magnitude of the transfer function it will change from okay this is the magnitude so magnitude ki jo value hai, it is changing from 1 to 0 it means it is decreasing nature okay so this is the ideal characteristics because it is passing the frequency component up to f of c and after that it is blocking or 
stopping the high frequency component so that is why it is known as a low pass filter characteristics okay so this is ideal characteristic and this is practical characteristics now let us see next filter and this is high pass filter so high pass filter as the name suggests it will pass the high frequency components only so ye high frequency signals ko pass karega and it will block the low frequency component so circuit diagram of high pass filter i have already explained so it also consists of resistor and capacitor but yahan pe kya hai ki jo hum output lete hain wo across resistor lete hain so uh, it consists of two passive element that is capacitor and resistor and they are connected in series and input voltage is applied across the entire combination and output jo hum lete hain wo kya hai across resistor so this is a simple circuit of high pass filter okay so now let us find out the transfer function of high pass filter so the circuit of the high pass filter we have seen that we have a capacitor and we take the output across the resistor so input is this is 1 by sc this is resistor output is v not of s and input is vi of s so we can apply the voltage division rule again so by the voltage division rule v not of s it will be equal to vi of s that is total voltage now we are calculating the output voltage across the resistance divided by sum of both the impedances that is r plus 1 by s into c so if we simplify we are getting vi of s into r divided by it will be 1 plus s c r by s into c so from here we are getting the h of s value h of s is transfer function so it is a ratio of output voltage by input voltage in the s domain so this will be equal to s c r divided by 1 plus s into c r so this is the transfer function of the high pass filter so if we write this in term of the time constant so this will be equal to s into tau divided by 1 plus s into tau okay so now we can put s is equal to j omega so if we substitute put s is equal to j omega in the above expression then we are getting so h of j omega it will be equal to j omega into cr divided by 1 plus j omega cr now from this expression if we calculate the magnitude okay so if we calculate the magnitude of the transfer function it will be equal to so what is the magnitude of the numerator term it will be equal to omega into cr divided by square root of it will be equal to 1 plus imaginary square is omega cr whole square so again we have obtained the magnitude of the transfer function so yahan pe hum again omega ki value 0 1 by cr and and one by uh, sorry infinity put karke we will check the magnitude of the high pass filter how it is varying with respect to the frequency okay so now let us see the characteristics using the value of the magnitude of the transfer function so magnitude of the transfer function is mod of h of j omega we have obtained as omega into cr divided by square root of 1 plus omega cr whole square okay so now let us substitute omega as 0 so at omega is equal to 0 mod of h of j omega so if we put omega 0 this will be equal to 0 by 1 so this is simply 0 now next we will substitute okay let me choose this pen so now we will put at omega is equal to 1 by c into r so mod of h of j omega magnitude it will be equal to so if we put 1 by cr this will be equal to 1 and then in the denominator we have square root of 1 plus 1 so this is simply 1 by root 2 and 1 by root 2 is 0.707 now we will substitute omega as infinity so at omega is equal to infinity mod of h of j omega it will be equal to so if we substitute omega as infinity then we are getting 1 okay so if you check then you will be getting magnitude as 1 at high frequency that is omega is equal to infinity so now if we plot so in the ideal characteristic we consider only omega is equal to 0 and omega is equal to infinity okay 
सो दिस इज द आइडियल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ हाई पास फिल्टर सो यहाँ पे क्या है कि ये लो फ्रिक्वेंसी सिग्नल्स को तो ब्लॉक कर रहा है बट इट इज़ पासिंग द हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी सिग्नल सो दैट इज़ वाई इट इज़ नोन एज स्टॉप बैंड एंड दिस इज नोन एज अ पास बैंड एंड द गेन इज वन बट दिस इज द एक्चुअल और द प्रैक्टिकल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द हाई पास फिल्टर यहाँ पे क्या है कि वो सडनली चेंज हो रहा है बट प्रैक्टिकली क्या है इट विल टेक सम टाइम सो एट एफ ऑफ सी एट मीन्स एट ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू वन बाई सी आर इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड इज़ जीरो पॉइंट सेवन जीरो सेवन एंड ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू जीरो मैग्नीट्यूड इज जीरो एंड एट ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू इन्फिनिटी इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड इज वन सो दिस इज द प्रैक्टिकल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एंड दिस इज द आइडियल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ हाई पास फिल्टर नाउ लेट इज सी द नेक्स्ट फिल्टर एंड दिस इज बैंड पास फिल्टर so band pass filter as the name suggest it will pass only the one band of frequencies in general this frequency band it will lie between the low frequency range and high frequency range so it means ye dono means low frequency components and high frequency components ko it will block and un dono ke beech mein jo frequency component hai sirf usko hi pass karta hai so that is why it is known as band pass filter so a band pass filter is obtained by connecting a low pass filter and a high pass filter in cascade cascade means we will connect a low pass filter and a active pass filter सॉरी अ लो पास फिल्टर एंड अ हाई पास फिल्टर इन कैसकेड ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल कनेक्ट अ हाई पास फिल्टर एंड द आउटपुट ऑफ द हाई पास फिल्टर इट विल बी दिस इज हाई पास फिल्टर सो आउटपुट ऑफ द हाई पास फिल्टर इट विल बी द इनपुट फॉर द लो पास फिल्टर ओके सो दिस इज द कैसकेड कनेक्शन एंड दिस इज अ बैंड पास फिल्टर Whereas the cutoff frequency of the low pass filter is greater than the cutoff frequency of the high pass filter, so this is important point. Okay, now next point. So this is the circuit diagram of the band pass filter. So this consists of a inductor, a capacitor, and a resistor, and we take the output across this resistance. Okay, so now using this circuit, we have. find out the transfer function of the band pass filter so transfer function it will be equal to h of s it is equal to v not s by v i of s so we are taking output across resistance divided by sum of all the impedance so it will be equal to r plus 1 by sc plus s into l so we can simplify this so yahan pe jo transfer function hame mil raha hai that is h of s it will be equal to s into cr divided by s square एल सी प्लस एस इंटू सी आर प्लस वन सो दिस इज एच ऑफ एस सो नाउ वी कैन सब्सटीट्यूट एस इज इक्वल टू जे ओमेगा देन वी आर गेटिंग द एच ऑफ जे ओमेगा एज इट विल बी इक्वल टू जे ओमेगा सी आर एंड वी नो दैट जे स्क्वायर इज माइनस ऑफ वन सो इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज वन माइनस ऑफ ओमेगा स्क्वायर एल इंटू सी देन वी हैव प्लस जे ओमेगा सी आर ओके so this is h of j omega this is one minus because we know that j square it is equal to minus of one okay so now we have obtained h of j omega now we can find out the magnitude also so if we calculate the magnitude of the transfer function this will be equal to omega cr divided by it will be equal to square root of real part square so this is real term so it will be equal to one minus of omega square l into c whole square and imaginary square imaginary term is omega cr whole square so this is the magnitude of the band pass filter now let us see the characteristics of the band pass filter so first of all we will write the mod of j omega so magnitude of the transfer function we have obtained as omega cr divided by square root of this was 1 minus of omega square lc whole square then we have omega cr whole square so this is the magnitude of the band pass filter now we will substitute omega as 0 so if we put omega value 0 so we are getting 0 by 1 so this is implies that magnitude that is mod of h of j omega we are getting as 0 now at omega is equal to 1 by root lc so at omega is equal to 1 by root l into c 
the magnitude of the transfer function it will be equal to so if we put 1 by root lc this will be equal to so this term it will become 0 so we are getting omega cr by omega cr so it will be equal to 1 okay now if we substitute omega is equal to infinity then we are getting the mod of h of g omega it will be equal to 0 so you can check by putting omega as infinity so now if we plot this value so omega is equal to 0 means at low frequency magnitude is 0 okay so this is 0 and at high frequency also again magnitude is 0 okay but at omega is equal to 1 by root lc the magnitude is 1 okay so this is the ideal characteristics so this is the ideal characteristics of a band pass filter okay and this blue one this is the practical or actual characteristics okay so low frequency pe magnitude 0 and high frequencies pe magnitude 0 hai but at omega is equal to 1 by root lc its magnitude is 1 so yahan pe aap dekh sakte hain ki jo cut off frequency hai low pass filter ki it should be greater than the cut off frequency of high pass filter because we have seen that the characteristics of the low pass filter so low pass filter ki jo characteristics thi wo kuch इस तरीके से थी एंड दिस इज़ द कट ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी फॉर द लो पास फिल्टर एंड द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द हाई पास फिल्टर वी हैव सीन लाइक दिस सो दिस इज द कट ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी फॉर द हाई पास फिल्टर सो इफ वी कंबाइन देम और कनेक्ट देम इन द कैसकेड सो ओवरऑल फाइनल आउटपुट इट विल बिकम लाइक दिस सो दिस इज f of l and this is fc so this is the cut off frequency for the low pass filter and this is the cut off frequency for the low pass filter so from here we can see that f of c it should be greater than f of l in order to realize a band pass filter okay so now let us see the next filter and this is band elimination filter and this is also known as band reject filter because it will reject or stop a particular band of frequencies and another name of band reject filter is notch filter okay so band stop filter as the name suggest suggest it will block only one band of frequencies in general this frequency band lies in between the low frequency range and the high frequency range that means filter will allow or pass both the low frequency and high frequency components okay and a band elimination filter can be obtained by connecting a low pass filter and a high pass filter in parallel where the cut off frequency of the low pass filter is less than the cut off frequency of the high pass filter so ye just opposite hai to that of the band pass filter and yahan pe kya hai ki hamara jo low pass filter hai and high pass filter they are connected in parallel like this so this is low pass filter and this is high pass filter and they are connected in parallel so if they are connected in parallel both the filters will have the same input and output is taken from both the filter and this is a summing point okay so from here we are collecting the output so this is input and this is output okay so this is simple block diagram of the band elimination filter so if we talk about the circuit it consists of resistor inductor and capacitor and here we are taking the output across inductor and capacitor okay so this is a simple circuit of the band elimination filter now let us see the transfer function of band elimination fi filter so transfer function h of s it is equal to v naught s by vi of s so we are taking the output across l and c combination so this is equal to sl plus 1 by S into C divided by sum of all the impedance that is R plus SL plus 1 by S into C. So if we simplify, we are getting H of S as S square LC plus 1 by S square LC plus SCR plus 1. So if we put S is equal to J omega, then we are getting, so it will be equal to J square omega square. So J square is minus so it will be equal to 1 minus omega square l into c divided by it will be equal to 1 minus of omega square l into c plus so this is l into c plus this is j omega c into r okay so this is 
h of j omega so using this we can calculate the magnitude so magnitude of the transfer function so you have numerator we can have imaginary term it means this is magnitude only so this is 1 minus of omega square l into c and in the denominator we have a complex term so its magnitude is given by square root of real part square so this is the real term so that is 1 minus of omega square l into c whole square and imaginary part square so imaginary term is omega c r whole square okay so this is the transfer function of band elimination filter now let us see the characteristics so we will put omega value 0 1 by root lc and infinity value in this magnitude of the transfer function and then we will plot the characteristics so we have obtained mod of h of j omega as 1 minus of omega square l into c divided by square root of this will be equal to 1 minus of omega square l c whole square plus omega c r whole square ok so this is the magnitude now we will substitute omega value as 0 so if we substitute omega 0 we are getting so magnitude h of j omega it will be equal to so this will be equal to 1 minus of 0 by 1 so magnitude will be 1 similarly if we substitute omega as 1 by root into lc so if we put 1 by root lc this term it will become 0 okay and this will also become 0 so we are getting 0 by omega cr so which is nothing but that we are getting the magnitude of the transfer function at omega 1 by root lc it will be equal to 0 and in the last we will substitute omega as infinity so if we substitute omega infinity then we will be getting the magnitude as 1 so it means low frequencies and high frequency pe jo magnitude hai wo 1 hai. that means it is passing the low and high frequency component but it is blocking the frequency which is in between the low frequency and high frequency range so this is the characteristics of the band stop filter where it is passing the low frequency signals and high frequency signal but it is stopping the frequency components which are between the low frequency and high frequency range so this is stop band and this is pass band because it is passing both the low frequency and high frequencies so if you see the cutoff frequency to yahan pe ye this is low pass filter characteristic so yahan pe low pass filter ki jo cutoff frequency hai it should be less than the cutoff frequency of high pass filter so because this is the characteristics of low pass filter and this is the characteristics of high pass filter so you have to remember this point now let us see the last filter which is all pass filter so all pass filter it is a type of filter which will pass all the frequencies e equally okay and it is known as a phase shift filter and the time delay filter as the output voltage shifts in phase with respect to the input voltage but they are equal in magnitude okay so it will pass all the frequency component so you have to remember that for the all pass filter the magnitude of the transfer function is one but you will have some delay okay so that is why it is known as a phase shift filter or the time delay filter because the output hai, it will delay the input by some angle and in case of all pass filter the poles and zeros lie symmetrically with respect to the imaginary axis where the poles lie in the left half of the s plane and the zeros lie in the right half of the s plane so it means agar aap all pass filter ka jo transfer function hai uski help se agar aap poles and zeros ko plot karte hain then you will get poles and zeros they will lie symmetrical with respect to the imaginary axis for example if you are having a pole at suppose this location which is minus of a so iska jo mirror image hai about y axis is this that and yahan pe kya hai you will get a zero so this is known as symmetricity with respect to the imaginary axis so this is pole location and this is zero location similarly poles and zeros can be complex also so if suppose complex poles are lying here this is the location of the complex pole then zeros it will lie on the right hand side and they will be equidistance from the origin so if this is minus of a this will be equal to a so this is the 
characteristics of the all pass filter so yahan pe kya hai this is the input we have applied okay this is the input voltage waveform so yahan pe we are getting the output after some delay so but magnitude if you see input and output magnitude is same but the there is phase difference between the input and output so this is the characteristics of the all pass filter so with this all the passive filters are completed now we will see the introduction to active filters so active filter jo hai wo exactly similar to that of the passive filter but the difference is we will be using the active components like we will be using op amp transistor fet okay so active filters they are the electronic circuit which consists of active elements so because of these active element they will provide the gain okay so they will provide the gain and we can also vary the gain by varying the value of rf and r1 so active elements like op amp along with the passive elements so we, we will be using the passive elements also that is resistor and capacitor and active filter it is of four type first one is active low pass filter so it will again pass low frequency signals and high frequency components ko wo block karega similarly for the high pass filter and active band pass and active stop filter so we will see the circuit for all these filters okay so दिस इज द सर्किट ऑफ एक्टिव लो पास फिल्टर सो यहाँ पे क्या है कि हमारे पास दिस इज ओपैम ओके सो ओपैम इज अ एक्टिव एलिमेंट एंड हेयर वी आर कनेक्टिंग पैसिव एलिमेंट्स लाइक रेजिस्टर एंड कैपेसिटर सो यहाँ पे क्या है इन दिस ओपैम वी आर अप्लाइंग द इनपुट एट दिस पॉजिटिव टर्मिनल सो दैट इज वाई इट इज नोन एज नॉन इन्वर्टिंग एम्पलीफायर ओके सो दिस इज नॉन इन्वर्टिंग एम्पलीफायर बिकॉज we are applying the input that is vi at the non inverting terminal okay so you know for the non inverting amplifier the output voltage let me write here so in case of non inverting amplifier output voltage it is given by v input into 1 plus rf by r1 so what is v input here so v input is the voltage at the non inverting terminal so yahan pe jo v input hai aapko wo consider karna hai yahan pe and uh, multiplied with 1 plus rf by r1 so yahan pe we can vary the value of rf and r1 in order to vary the gain of this active low pass filter so this is a circuit and in case of active high pass filter the circuit is almost similar again we are applying the input at the non inverting terminal but yahan pe kya hai first capacitor hai and then we have resistor in shunt so this is a simple circuit and again this is non inverting amplifier okay and in case of non inverting amplifier the output voltage it will be equal to v input into 1 plus rf by r1 so 1 plus rf by r1 is nothing but the gain of this high pass filter and this is v input is the voltage at or the input at the non inverting terminal next let us see the circuit of active band pass filter so we know that active band pass filter it is a cascade of high pass filter and a low pass filter so in the active band pass filter we have first of all we have a high pass filter and the output of high pass filter it will be a input for low pass filter and both these filters are connected in cascade so if we see this so this is the first part and this is एक्टिव ओके सो लेट मी राइट हेयर सो दिस इज एक्टिव हाई पास फिल्टर एक्टिव बिकॉज यहाँ पे क्या है कि हम ओपैम यूज कर रहे हैं कैसे पता लगे हाई पास है बिकॉज यहाँ पे पहले क्या है कैपेसिटर है एंड देन इन द शंट वी हैव रेसिस्टेंस एंड वी आर अपलाइंग द इनपुट एट द नॉन इन्वर्टिंग टर्मिनल एंड हाई दिस एक्टिव हाई पास फिल्टर का जो आउटपुट है इट इज द इनपुट फॉर दिस एक्टिव लो पास फिल्टर सो दिस इज लो पास फिल्टर बिकॉज यहाँ पे सीरीज में क्या है रेसिस्टेंस है एंड द इन द शंट वी हैव कैपेसिटर सो दिस इज एक्टिव लो पास फिल्टर एंड इफ वी कंसिडर बोथ द सर्किट टूगेदर दैन इट विल बिहेव एज एक्टिव बैंड पास फिल्टर एंड लास्टली वी हैव एक्टिव बैंड स्टॉप फिल्टर सो इन एक्टिव बैंड स्टॉप फिल्टर वी हैव a low pass filter and a active high pass filter they are connected in parallel so this is a low pass filter it will be connected in parallel with high pass filter so as it is active so we have to consist of both active low pass filter and active high pass filter so yahan pe dono kya hai 
parallelly connected and so they will have the same input and the output of both these filter is passed to a summing amplifier okay so this is summing amplifier which will sum the output of both this filter and then it will give the output so this is input signal and this is output so this is active low pass filter because here what is series mein kya hai? resistance hai and in the shunt we have capacitor so this is active low pass filter and it is connected in parallel with so first of all here we are having a capacitor and this resistor so this is active high pass filter and both these filters are having the same input that is v of i okay and the output of active low pass filter and active high pass filter is applied to this this is known as a summing amplifier it will add the output okay so this is summing amplifier so this is a simple circuit of active filters now let us see a question based on the filter topic so question is we have to identify the type of the filter shown in the given figure so let me draw the first figure suppose you are having a figure like this so here a resistance is given and this is connected in series with another resistor and in the shunt we are having a capacitor okay so and here we are having a uh, inductor okay this is inductor and connected in series with a resistor so kuch is tarike ka aapko kya hai ek circuit given hai and aapko identify karna hai ki ye kaun sa filter hai so what is the method so sabse pehle kya hai ki hame check karna hai because agar wo low pass filter hai to sirf low frequency signals ko pass karega and high frequency ko block karega similarly we will check for the high frequency so low frequency means omega is zero so if omega is zero we know that s is equal to j omega so we will substitute s value so if omega is zero so this implies that s will be equal to zero so low frequency ke liye we will substitute s is equal to zero and in case of high frequency so if high frequency is there it means omega it will be equal to infinity so this implies that s is equal to j omega so for the high frequency we have to substitute s is equal to infinity so it means we will check by substituting s is equal to 0 and s is equal to infinity so as this is capacitor so this will be equal to 1 by c into s and this is inductor so this will be equal to s into l and all these are resistors so n s domain mein they will remain as it is okay now sabse pehle we will check for the low frequency so low frequency check karne ke liye we have to substitute s is equal to 0 because s is equal to 0 indicate low frequency now if we substitute s is equal to 0 then inductor it is s into l so inductor it will become 0 0 means it will become short and capacitor it is 1 by c into s so if we substitute 0 it will become infinity infinity means it will become open circuit okay so it means at low frequency the inductor it will become short circuit and this capacitor it will become open circuit so our circuit it will become so resistance at low frequency will remain as it is again we are having a resistor so high low frequency ke liye capacitor jo hai, it will become open circuit so this is like this and the inductor it will become short okay and this is connected in series with the resistor so now this is the circuit at low frequency so if we apply the input are we getting the output so is there any path available between input and output so yes if we apply the input there are two paths is tarikhi se bhi aa sakta aur is wale path se bhi output aa sakta hai okay so two paths are available it means output is available so it means it is passing so it means low frequency signals ko ye pass karega now we will check for the high frequency so high frequency check karne ke liye we will put s is equal to infinity so if we substitute s is equal to infinity this is for high frequency and this is for low frequency so if we substitute s is equal to infinity inductor it is s into l so it will become infinity so inductor it will become infinite so this will become open circuit for high frequency and capacitor this is 1 by infinity 0 so this will become short circuit okay 
so let us draw the circuit for the high frequency so we have resistance okay and at high frequency this capacitor it will become short circuit okay this is becoming short circuit then we have a resistor and high frequency this inductor it will become open circuit and this is connected in series with the resistance okay so this is connected in series with the resistor now we will apply the input so if we apply the input so yahan pe kya this inductor has become open circuit so yahan se koi bhi signal pass nahi hoga and this capacitor has become short circuit so this is offering a low resistance path so jitna bhi signal hai wo yahan se kya hai divert ho jayega there will be no output available okay because ye wala path to already open ho gaya and this capacitor has become short so this is offering a low रेसिस्टेंस पास तो जितने भी सिग्नल है वो यहाँ से पास हो जाएगा आउटपुट में कुछ आएगा ही नहीं सो इट मींस दिस इज ब्लॉकिंग दी हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी सिग्नल सो विच इज़ दिस फिल्टर जो कि लो फ्रीक्वेंसी को तो पास करे बट हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी को ब्लॉक करे दिस मीन दिस इज सिंपली अ लो पास फिल्टर सर्किट ओके बिकॉज लेट मी ड्रॉ दी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑल्सो बिकॉज दिस इज पासिंग लो फ्रिक्वेंसी बट इट इज़ ब्लॉकिंग the high frequency component so this is the characteristics of this circuit okay and this is a low pass filter so this is the answer similarly let us see one more circuit now this is the circuit given so now we have to identify which filter is this so this is inductor so this will be s into l this is capacitor so sabse pehle aapko ye values aapko likhne hai inductor is sl and capacitor is 1 by cs now we will check for the low frequency so low frequency ke liye we have to substitute s is equal to 0 so if we substitute s is equal to 0 then inductor it will become short circuit and capacitor because if we substitute 0 it is 1 by 0 that is infinity infinity means capacitor will behave as open circuit so now let us draw the circuit okay so this inductor it will become short and this capacitor it will become open circuit now again in this this inductor it will become short and capacitor it will become open so this is the circuit now if we apply the input so if we apply the input so there is a path available so input is tarike se pass ho sakta it means we will obtain the output so this is passing the low frequency signal similarly we will check for high frequency so for high frequency we have to substitute okay let me write from here so for high frequency we will substitute s is equal to infinity so if we substitute s is equal to infinity so inductor is s into l so this will become infinity it means inductor it will become open circuit and capacitor it will become short circuit so let us draw the circuit so this inductor it will become open and capacitor it will become short similarly here inductor it will become open and capacitor it will become short so this is the circuit now if we apply the input so input can pass from this path okay it means again we are getting the output so this is passing लो फ्रीक्वेंसी सिग्नल एंड हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी सिग्नल सो दोनों सिग्नल्स को ये पास कर रहे हैं सो इट मीन्स वी आर हैविंग टू पॉसिबिलिटी या तो ये एक बैंड स्टॉप फिल्टर होगा ओके बिकॉज बैंड स्टॉप फिल्टर में क्या है कि वो लो फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी सिग्नल्स को दोनों को पास करता है बट एक पर्टिकुलर बैंड ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसीज को वो ब्लॉक करता है और इट कैन बी अल पास फिल्टर सो नाउ वी हैव टू चेक एट द रेजोनेटिंग फ्रिक्वेंसी सो अगर दोनों सिग्नल्स पास होते हैं देन द थर्ड इज दैट यू हैव टू चेक एट रेजोनेटिंग फ्रिक्वेंसी okay so now you have to check at resonating frequency so at resonating frequency it means at omega is equal to omega r so this is l in parallel with c so this is a tank circuit so at the resonating frequency the dynamic impedance of tank circuit is infinity okay so it means at the resonating frequency this inductor and capacitor combination because it tank circuit hai so it will offer infinite impedance at the resonating frequency so it means this will become open and the inductor and this capacitor it will remain as it is so if this has become open so if we apply any input output will not 
अवेलेबल सो आउटपुट क्या है जीरो है बट वी हैव अप्लाइड द इनपुट सो इट मीन्स इट इज ब्लॉकिंग दी रेजोनेटिंग फ्रिक्वेंसी सिग्नल बट अगर वो ऑल पास फिल्टर होता तो उसे सारे फ्रिक्वेंसी कॉम्पोनेंट्स को पास करना पड़ता इट मीन्स वी कैन से दैट दिस इज अ एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ बैंड स्टॉप फिल्टर और बैंड रिजेक्ट फिल्टर बिकॉज इट इज पासिंग लो फ्रिक्वेंसी सिग्नल बट ये रेजोनेटिंग फ्रिक्वेंसी सिग्नल्स को वो ब्लॉक कर रहा है सो लो फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी को तो उसने पास किया बट इन बिटवीन लो फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी सिग्नल उनको ये ब्लॉक कर रहा है सो दैट इज वाई दिस इज अ बैंड स्टॉप फिल्टर विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज बैंड एलिमिनेशन और बैंड रिजेक्ट फिल्टर सो नाउ लेट एस सी वन मोर सर्किट दिस इज अ सर्किट गिवन एंड अगेन वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई ये कौन सा फिल्टर है सो दिस इज रेसिस्टेंस दिस इज कैपेसिटर सो वन बाई सी इन टू एस दिस इज कैपेसिटर सो वन बाई सी एस एंड दिस इज रेसिस्टर आर सो नाउ फर्स्ट वी विल चेक फॉर द लो फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड वी विल सब्सिट्यूट एस इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो यहाँ पर क्या है सिर्फ कैपेसिटर है सो लो फ्रिक्वेंसी के लिए दिस कैपेसिटर इट विल बी वन बाई जीरो इन्फिनिटी सो कैपेसिटर विल बिकम ओपन सर्किट एंड रेजिस्टर इट विल रिमेन एज इट इज सो लेट इज ड्रॉ द सर्किट दिस इज रेजिस्टर कैपेसिटर इट विल बिकम ओपन एंड दिस कैपेसिटर अगेन इट विल बिकम ओपन एंड हेयर वी आर हैविंग अ रेजिस्टेंस इन पैरल ओके सो दिस इज द सर्किट एट लो फ्रिक्वेंसी नाउ इफ वी अप्लाई द इनपुट सो एज इट इज ओपन इसके आगे कोई भी सिग्नल पास ही नहीं होगा इट मीन्स आउटपुट जो है वो पास नहीं हो रहा इट इज स्टॉपिंग ओके सो वो स्टॉप कर दिया उसने लो फ्रिक्वेंसी सिग्नल्स को तो इट मीन्स लो फ्रिक्वेंसी सिग्नल हमारा पास नहीं हुआ नाउ वी विल चेक फॉर हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी सो इफ वी पुट एस इज इक्वल टू इन्फिनिटी देन दिस कैपेसिटर इट विल बिकम शॉर्ट सर्किट ओके सो लेट इज ड्रॉ द सर्किट सो दिस इज रेजिस्टर दिस कैपेसिटर इट विल बिकम शॉर्ट एंड इन द शंट दिस कैपेसिटर इट विल बिकम शॉर्ट एंड दिस इज कनेक्टेड इन पैरल विद द रेजिस्टेंस सो दिस इज द सर्किट एट हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी सो इफ वी अप्लाई द इनपुट ओके सो इफ यू अप्लाई द इनपुट इट विल पास हेयर बट यहाँ पे क्या है दिस पाथ इट इज बिकमिंग अ डायरेक्ट शॉर्ट सर्किट सो इफ इट इज बिकमिंग अ डायरेक्ट शॉर्ट सर्किट इट मीन दिस इज ऑफरिंग अ लो रेजिस्टेंस पाथ सो इनपुट जो है यहीं से वापिस हो जाएगा आउटपुट विल बी जीरो इट मीन्स इट इज ब्लॉकिंग दी हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी कॉम्पोनेंट और स्टॉपिंग सो इसने क्या है लो फ्रिक्वेंसी सिग्नल्स एंड हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी सिग्नल दोनों को स्टॉप किया इट मीन्स क्लियरली इट इज अ एग्जाम्पल ऑफ बैंड पास फिल्टर बिकॉज इन केस ऑफ बैंड पास फिल्टर वो एक पर्टिकुलर बैंड ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसीज को ही पास करता है एंड लो फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी कॉम्पोनेंट्स को वो ब्लॉक करेगा सो दिस इज अ एग्जाम्पल ऑफ बैंड पास फिल्टर एंड इट्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स विल लुक लाइक दिस सो लो फ्रिक्वेंसी के लिए आउटपुट जीरो है एंड हाई फ्रिक्वेंसीज के लिए भी आउटपुट क्या है जीरो है बट इट इज पासिंग अ पर्टिकुलर बैंड ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसी सो दिस इज अ बैंड पास फिल्टर ओके सो दिस इज आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन सिमिलरली आप किसी भी सर्किट को चेक कर सकते हैं कि वो कौन सा फिल्टर है ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज दैट कि आपको एक बार इसको जीरो पुट करना है एक बार इसको इन्फिनिटी पुट करना है एंड देन यू हैव टू चेक दी आउटपुट सो विद दिस फिल्टर टॉपिक आपकी फाइव यूनिट्स कंप्लीट होती हैं ऑफ नेटवर्क एनालिसिस एंड सिंथेसिस सब्जेक्ट बट कुछ मिसलिनियस टॉपिक्स हैं लाइक रेजोनेंस एंड मैग्नेटिकली कपल सर्किट वो रह गए हैं तो मैं नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में उन टॉपिक्स को कंप्लीट कराऊंगी ओके सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग अगर वीडियो अच्छा लगे तो प्लीज़ वीडियो को लाइक एंड शेयर ज़रूर करें